Welcome back, Glam Stars, to another glamorful video. If you're interested to see how we achieve this sunflower look, stay right here. Well, before we get ahead <laughs> of ourselves, make sure we stop everything we're doing and hit the like button and make sure we subscribe. So today's unit was a quick weave unit and I used two packs of the jazz hair in the inches 14 and I got a closure from Pretty and Polished in the inches 16. All the hair that we're going to use today is going to be 613. The two packs of jazz I got from my local beauty supply store and my closure I got from the Pretty and Polished Bundle Shop. To achieve this look, you are going to need a mesh dome wig cap, some hair glue, and some gloves. But before we get started, my special helper has a message for the viewers. Hi, I'm the cameraman. I'm the cameraman. I'm super excited that he was comfortable getting in the camera because this cutie pie is getting his own YouTube channel very soon. So since we're doing a quick weave wig, we need to place a bag on our mannequin head just so we don't get any glue stuck to our mannequin. And then I'll place the mesh wig cap on top of that and proceed to glue on my closure. After that is completed, I will go ahead and start gluing on the bundles. And I'm placing each track about a half an inch away from each other. So this is what our unit looks like after all the hair is glued on. So next comes the color. We are going to use the supplies you see here. Colors flaming orange, paprika, and yellow. I'm going to apply my gloves and pour the boiling hot water into our bowl. We are going to customize our color for our unit. So um, the color that we I want is more yellow than anything. So I'm going to use majority of the electric yellow as the base. Then add some paprika and some flaming orange just to deepen it up a little bit. You'll see me testing the color out on a napkin just to make sure that we have achieved the desired tint. And if not, then I'll add more color accordingly. Once everything is mixed thoroughly, it is time to add the unit into the water. And I am going to let this soak for about 15 minutes before I take this out, just because I really wanna deepen the color. So after about 15 minutes, this is the color that we achieved. I went ahead and washed it, blow dried it, and styled it off camera, and now it's time for install. My goal for this unit was to be glueless, and as you can see, that definitely was achieved, but I do need to lay down baby hair, so I'm going to use Pump It Up, and the black got to be glued. Mm -hmm. 
And as you can see, I only use a little bit of both. And I'm gonna use the end of my comb just to mix it thoroughly. Oh, and feel free to check out my nails while I'm swooping down these baby hairs. And I will post a picture of what my nails were inspired by and how great my nail tag actually did them. Literally, these nails blew my mind. And my nail tag was telling me how she never done 3D acrylic nail art before. So the fact that that was her first time doing it and she blew it out the park, I definitely recommend her. She literally plugged me in more ways than one. Like, even the lashes that I have on, I got them from her, and they look so good. Her, her name is um, Stylish Nails, and I will post her contact information below. After I slick down the baby hairs, I am going to wrap it down just to make sure that it dries in place. Once I'm done wrapping this up, I'm going to see you guys back here in 10 minutes to reveal the final results. Well, Glam Stars, this is our final look. If you think I did a good job at bringing to life a sunflower, make sure you leave me a comment below. And also, don't hesitate to leave a suggestion for another theme. I thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Make sure you like this video. Don't hesitate to comment and make sure you subscribe. And always remember, being glamorous isn't what you have, it's who you are.